hello everyone now i am here with my next video of how we are merging both things together that is string and string buffer so many of students were trying to do string buffer mixing it with string and they don't know how to do and they were doing so many mistakes that's why i am creating all this video for them only actually few functions string buffer providers that makes our work more easier that's why the students try to use these kinds of functions for example somehow uh, we are having reverse we are having delete we are having insert these are few functions that uh, the students were trying to use it and uh, it is not present in string that's why these functions the students are thinking that uh, were more easier to use that's why i want to provide this video to them only see first of all you want to concentrate on how we are going to use both the things because string stores the value in two ways either in data type or either in object i already define all these thing in a string class and see one more video i provided you about string buffer the way we are using string or buffer object we have to create object we have to store values these are the different different ways we are going to store string in string and string buffer and then you have to clear each and every thing that is difference between both of them in my previous video of string buffer i told you the difference of between both of them what you have to remember that is string buffer is mutable class string class is immutable class i'm just repeating it so that you one rewind going on in front of you so that you can able to understand more clearly then the string buffer is faster memory as compared to string and the string is slower than string buffer because string creates too many strings and string buffer is using only one memory that's why it is fastest in string buffer you have to remember that equals equal ignore case compared to string buffers not using all these thing and but string class always use and these function are more important for us for our programming but all these things is possible in string class only that's why you have to remember it and then if you want to use both of them together in one program then either you are converting string to string buffer or string buffer to string the both the ways i am providing you see when you are converting string to string buffer you are just supposed to store the string variable value inside string buffer object but when you are converting string buffer to string then you have to provide whatever value string buffer is having in an object we are having two things together one is to use two string function of string buffer which convert a given given string buffer to a string and one more way we are having that string buffer should be directly placed in string constructor see string s2 is equals to new string brackets sb sb is an argument which i am providing in string function bracket open close i told you earlier string function bracket open close is a constructor i am providing value to an to a constructor and see in, in line string s1 is equals to sb dot two string here two string is a function which converts string buffer value into a string that's why we are having two ways you have to remember that 
whatever you want to use you can use either you want to convert a string to string buffer or string buffer to string you have to use all these ways and see i'm trying to give you a few examples so that you can ex understand in more brief format see i'm using few small programs so that it is helpful for you all write a program in java to accept a word and check whether it is palindrome or not we have already done that previously see but uh, one small twist is there if it is non palindrome word then create a palindrome word from a given word otherwise display a message already a palindrome word means if we are getting a value that is icsc icsc is not the palindrome word then we have to create a palindrome word by icsc by reversing it and adding it with the original word if we are reversing icsc it becomes esci and we have to join them together so that what we are getting icsc esci now it is a palindrome word if you are getting a non palindrome word you have to create a palindrome word otherwise you have to display already a palindrome word and now how we are going to do see if we are accepting a word enter a word in a variable that is s1 and i want to provide this s1 into string buffer object because the reversing is more easier in string buffer we are having a function reverse and i want to reverse it that's why i'm writing it sb dot reverse sb is object of string buffer sb dot reverse provide us a reverse value in sb only always remember it provides us a same memory location whatever present in sb now it is reverse in sb the previous value is overwritten and we are getting a new value that is reversed value of original value and now what we are doing we are storing that reverse value by converting it into string by using a function to string sb having reverse value of original value to string converts that fun that string into string wow. and then we are getting it in s2 and now what we are having original value is in s1 and reverse value is placed in s2 now we have to compare both of them by using equals ignore case s1 dot equals ignore case checks whether both are equal or not means both the reverse value and the original value if both are same then we have to display already a palindrome word else we have to display both of them by joining operator joining operator is plus see in else i had written s1 plus s2 s1 is original value and s2 is reversed value then what will be the output see if i am entering a word icsc i am getting a palindrome word by reversing and joining both of them together if i am providing madam madam is already a palindrome word then we are getting a message already a palindrome word see by next example in previous one i'll told you by using two string function how to join string and string buffer together and now with this program i want to tell you how we are going to use it with object creation see write a program in java to accept a name containing three names that is first name last name and middle name remove middle name and display only first and last name if uh, we are providing aditya kumar kumar patel then what we want 
Aditya Patel. We have to remove Kumar between a particular name. We want to remove Kumar. And how we are going to do that? See, if I had written enter a name that contains three words, it's directly provided into string s. S is a variable. And I am storing that value in string buffer also. SB is object of string buffer. I am storing S into string buffer. And now what I am trying to do? See, I am using string function S dot index of and S dot last index of. I don't know whether you are remembering or not. If we are getting three words, Aditya Kumar Patel, before Kumar we are having one space and after Kumar we are having another space. And see, I told you earlier that index of is used to find position of a particular character. The first, first occurrence and last index of is used to find last occurrence of a particular character now what i am trying to do i want to get first occurrence of space and last occurrence of space before kumar we are having space and after kumar we are having space i am trying to get position of both the spaces because string buffer have a quality to delete a given string how by writing the positions delete function always use two indexes from first index till last minus one whatever is written is deleted that's why i've written the first index and the last index whatever present inside that will be deleted and stored in sb only because String buffer is using the same memory. That's why whatever present inside string buffer, that will be deleted. The center part will be deleted and placed again in string buffer. And see, the deleted part is already removed. The remaining part, what we are having, I'm trying to place in string object that is ss i am trying to place sb into ss and i want to show what result we are getting as ss see if i am writing aditya kumar patel ss provide me aditya patel if i am writing mukul kumar soni ss provide us mukul soni means kumar is deleted these are the two ways from we are using it to synchronize both the thing together and we can use them simultaneously to create a small program i think you are able to understand if still you are having problem then contact me you can send message also i'm just hoping it this video help you out in your programming and even i'm not getting a proper feedback from you all still i'm saying thanks for watching